Welcome everybody to a new episode of Mockery Monday. I have to tell you that I think I may have bit off more than I can chew in, uh, in trying to get these out on a weekly basis. Uh, it may get to the point where either I just have follow-up discussions on the vehicles that I'm working on or I just resort to doing some illustrations of the cars that I hope to do. Uh, I may do the former <clears throat> and just start showing progress on Mockery Mondays and maybe do uh, a new project monthly and just have weekly installments of the progress of that car and maybe that's what i'll do i don't know um seth if you're out there buddy i haven't heard from you i need your address um not looking for compensation on the uh the car it's practically ready the only couple things i have to do is separate the insert and get it ready for you to do your special touch with the painting and there it sits in the background motorcycle in place mockery monday a while back, uh, I want to say a couple years ago, Hot Wheels came out with uh, just an oddball four-wheeled vehicle called the Quad Rod. And if you look closely, this was the uh, four-wheeled vehicle. Uh, it had a wheel up front, two big wheels on the side, and one big one in the back. And uh, didn't really like the fourth wheel, decided to put a... Uh, just get rid of it. Put an engine in the back, and this is the meter made car. So, the mockery part of this, even though it's a Matchbox casing, the Hot Wheels base, uh, since Mattel owns Matchbox, I feel it's okay to include them in Mockery Monday. This is, instead of Quad Rod, it is now Squad Rod. Um, I have not completed this car, but I uh, just wanted to give you an idea of how it's going to look. Uh, it's going to have that rake, uh, it's going to be three wheeled. And there's the engine in place. I've painted the light bar, but I'm going to be stripping the white paint off of this and just kind of go over this a little bit. Um, the base, I have to do a little bit more stripping here. Um, there's a section here that I need to take out because the uh, body needs to sit flush on it. And uh, so that's just something I, that has to be done. Um, I wanted to show you the tailpipe on this car because I do like as much realism as I can get uh, the depth here I don't know maybe I need something more narrow and I do but um, if you can see this tailpipe I actually drilled out significantly and I'll show you the depth of this it's a good maybe centimeter I don't know uh, just so that it looks more deep right there. It's got the worn look that I talked about last week on Technique Thursday uh, to give it the more drag strip look painted the air intake. This is from the Volkswagen casting that had the cartooned rear engine. I thought the scale was great for this. Uh, the casting for the meter made car I just got rid of the excess uh, section in, in the rear and I have ground out the uh, center section here to clear for that front wheel and to give me that rake. Um, there is a fender there from one of uh, Hot Wheels motorcycle castings that I'm going to be putting there to kind of make that f stick out a little bit. But basically this is the vehicle. Um, this is how it's going to look. Front wheel sticks there and of course this is called Squad Rod. Um, boy if you get a ticket with this it's going to be pretty awesome. I thought about doing a sliding door, this door here, sliding it forward, but to be honest, uh, once you, you know, have the limited space here with the uh, the way the windscreen or the windshield inserts into the vehicle, there's not much room at all. Um, and I just, I can't spend all my time grinding these things. So I'm going to try to do a little custom paint job, maybe some flat black and some gloss black mixed in. Um, the insert of this, I'm going to try to make this stand out, and I've done some work to kind of make that screen stand out. It's really just uh, the type of imprint that, where they just come down with the cast, and so it gives the depth of the steering wheel, and all I did was highlight that a little bit. I'll do some more interior work. And then I've got some of my vinyl here that I'm going to put on the seat, maybe a two-tone dark gray and a light gray, just to make the seat stand out in the casting. So Mockery Monday, Car of the Week is 
squad rod playing on quad rod so i hope you guys enjoy uh, i do have a favor to, to ask of you other customizers if you guys could post a video on successfully removing a blister and repackaging some of these cars it'd be interesting or if you've made any uh custom uh blisters i know seth uh, can do those custom blisters um <clears throat> it'd be interesting to maybe package some of these just for my own taste um but um let me know what you think and if you got any tips that you can share with me i would appreciate it and uh, we'll go from there this is another quality pooch man production and pooch i hope you don't sue me for stealing your catchphrase <laughs>